taking place across our planet, then you must know that something doesn't seem right. The weather has become chaotic as the Earth's rotation slows down and the wobble intensifies. This, then, is a dilemma that is ultimately beyond our ability to control. Even the law of physics would suggest that something has gone astray that is difficult to grasp or understand. This, then, is a series of unprecedented events not witnessed in a generation. Ultimately, our fate is in the hands of a greater power, and so we look to the heavens for comfort and guidance in these troubled times. Let's examine a series of incremental events that portend of a great shift in the making, in which the world as we know it will change forever. As the weather intensifies and torrential rains inundate the land, the potential for catastrophic earth changes significantly increases. This video shows the severity of Hurricane Maria as it came ashore in Puerto Rico on September 19th flooding the countryside and casting the entire island of three and a half million people into total darkness. I never, never seen something like that, never in my life. And I saw Hugo and Georges, but this is, this is really different. As the water from lakes and rivers rise due to torrential rains, the earth begins to move in strange ways, as was witnessed in this video from Kabalala, a region in southwest Tanzania, on September 13th. Wildfires are becoming a major concern across forested regions of the world as a result of extreme climate change. But when is the last time that you heard the media talk at length about this? On September 5th, residents of the Pacific Northwest awoke to ash falling from the sky onto their vehicles and the terrain as if it were snow. As the ash hit the ground, persistent wildfires burning across the western states and Canada sent smoke into the upper atmosphere, which then began drifting eastward. 
These maps show the aerosol concentrations with the lower concentrations in yellow and the higher concentrations in the dark orange brown. They were collected between September 4th and September 7th by the Ozone Mapping Profiler Suite via satellite. The smoke clouds reaching Europe are now thicker, larger, and more persistent than in previous years. Another indication that our climate is changing quickly. The 2017 hurricane season continues to produce catastrophic storms. Harvey, Irma, and the most recent Hurricane Maria are all megastorms carving paths of destruction throughout the Caribbean and in the most highly populated states of the Gulf Coast. The devastation wrought by such storms is unimaginable to the human mind, and yet the reality of their destructive power reminds us of how vulnerable we are when we are met by their fury. As these storms continue to strengthen in intensity, the probability of their formation being a product of climate change is becoming more apparent. The three most recent storms in the Atlantic have all dropped tremendous amounts of precipitation on areas in its path, creating catastrophic flooding in their wake. Large U.S. metropolitan cities such as Houston, Jacksonville, and Charleston all suffer immense flooding. This video from the Geological Survey shows that much of the flooding uh, from Irma occurred after the storm had already passed. The effect of the precipitation of flow can be gauged by such factors as stream size, reservoir conditions, and the strength of the storm surge. As torrential rains permeate the ground, the tendency for the earth to open and for the ground to give way increases exponentially, as was the situation in Apopka, Florida, on September 13th. As a consequence of Hurricane Irma, scenarios such as this one are scarring the earth, as with this event a sinkhole so large that it can be labeled as a huge crack or fissure across the ground. As the Earth's crust begins to shift, the movement of the ocean tides behave in a manner that is unprecedented and which cause remains a mystery. The latest in a series of tidal events was observed when an indentation of the sea occurred on the beach of Nook in Recanto, Brazil on September 18th. Although local residents admit that they have never witnessed such a phenomenon on the coastal shores, there are some who dismiss these events as weather-related incidents produced by lingering high-pressure systems or otherwise caused by lunar phases such as a full moon. But when we examine the ongoing nature, in addition to the increased locality of this phenomenon, then such explanations become quite ludicrous and obsolete. Something very serious is occurring to the ocean tides that no one can explain because its occurrence is defying the understood laws of nature. The New Madrid earthquake zone is coming to life. On September 19th at 6.47 a.m., a 3.8 magnitude quake rocks southern Illinois. This is the strongest earthquake to hit this region of Illinois in the past six years. The epicenter of this quake was situated near the New Madrid Fault, a seismic zone that is four times more dangerous than the San Andreas Fault Line in California. 
This map shows the different damage zones if a big earthquake was hitting New Madrid. The epicenter of today's quake is situated at the border between the 10th and the 9th zones, so right in the hot spot just northwest of Evansville, Indiana. The largest earthquake to hit southern Illinois was in 1968, a 5.4 magnitude quake. Shortly after the New Madrid event, a massive 7.1 earthquake struck Mexico City. The movement of the earth was swift and very deadly. At last estimate, more than four dozen multi-story buildings have collapsed, some of them trapping victims beneath the rubble. As you can see from these highlights, the strength of this earthquake was absolute, placing millions of people at the mercy of Earth's fury. One day prior to this eventful earthquake, a manifestation was seen and witnessed by onlookers in San Cristobal de las Casas. This may have been a celestial warning from the heavens, a sign of things to come our way. It may also have been a sky phenomenon known as earthquake lights, which appear prior to a major earthquake in a particular area. Regardless of the origin of this phenomenon, it is yet another indication that we are living in perilous times. The largest glacier of Iceland is melting like an ice cream cone. Giant holes as large as 1,300 feet wide have opened up in this area of Iceland. This is the second largest glacier in Europe, which covers 8% of Iceland and several volcanoes. Now huge holes more than 1,300 feet wide and several hundreds of feet deep are appearing in the ice. These cavities mean that the ground beneath the glacier have been left exposed for the first time in hundreds or thousands of years. The creation of additional calderas will raise the likelihood of a glacial flood. They can occur simply as the result of a buildup in pressure, but are more likely to be caused by a volcanic eruption or earthquake. Something very strange is happening on the largest glacier of Iceland, and nobody can determine what it indicates. Yet another sign that great changes are happening on the planet. As of the date of this video production, a newly discovered asteroid designated 2017 SR2 is flying by Earth at a very close distance of 57,000 miles. This is the second known Earth asteroid to fly by in the span of a day. It is the third within the span of seven days and it is the 31st asteroid to fly by our planet since the beginning of 2017. This asteroid was discovered at Catalina Sky Survey on this date, September 20th, with virtually no prior notice. The estimated diameter of this asteroid is 36 feet. Here is what we can report so far on the numbers of NEOs. As of June 3rd of this year, there are more than 16,000 near-Earth objects, most of which are asteroids. 1,800 of these are potentially dangerous, with 875 measuring more than a quarter mile in diameter. Another 881 near-Earth objects have diameters of 460 feet or larger. The asteroid that exploded over the Russian city of Shalabinsk on February 15th of 2013 damaged over 3,000 buildings and injured over 1,500 people. It has an estimated size of 65 feet, and it was brighter than the sun visible for more than 62 miles from the impact. It went undetected before its entry due to its proximity to the sun. The asteroid left an impact crater some 20 feet wide on Lake Sherbacol's frozen surface. 
September of 2017 has been an apocalyptic month of chaotic disasters across the world. Three catastrophic hurricanes, major earthquakes and swarms, tremendous solar storms, wildfires running wild, and anomalous water receding in many places. What will happen next? All of these major disasters occurred within the first weeks of September, as if they were all intertwined with one another, as if they were all choreographed to occur at the same moment. As you survey the many environmental disasters now happening on our planet, you may come to the conclusion that the Earth is becoming increasingly unstable. Hurricane Harvey broke the all-time record for rainfall in the continental United States. Hurricane Irma was so powerful that it was described as a lawnmower from the sky. Apocalyptic floods around the world and in the United States. Acres upon acres of land burning along the west coast of the U.S. Major earthquake activity along the Ring of Fire and the mysterious sea receding phenomenon during which ocean waters disappeared along the Atlantic coast. And then there's the strongest solar flare in more than a decade. All of this is happening now. As we ponder what's happening across our planet, we are provided with an in-depth look at the changes that are happening in real time. Throughout our Earth's history, changes have occurred on a regular basis, changes that happen gradually over an extended period of time, often thousands of years. But the changes of today are happening much quicker, affecting the Earth's climate, the shifting of the Earth's crust, and the abnormal tilting of the Earth's axis. The evidence now points to these events taking place, but the reasoning is one of mystery. Even scientists cannot fully understand the nature of these events. They can only theorize and provide expert opinions based on studies and the observations of how the Earth behaves. But not all things can be explained in scientific terms. Something is defying the laws of nature as we know them. And so it is up to each of us to seek answers that make sense and that help us in our journey of truth. As we wander through this time of uncertainty, we must strengthen our desire to overcome all fear. Through a quest for knowledge, we may gain the ability to overcome all obstacles, paving the way for a better existence for our inheritors, just as our predecessors have done in generations past. So, my friends, watch for the signs here on earth, be mindful of your surroundings at all times, and most importantly, keep looking to the sky.